Okay, I got a request to do some low current testing on this Turnigy uh, watt meter. This is an inline meter that you connect up, you know, to a DC source and it reads the voltage, the current through it calculates the power and it accumulates the amp hours that's running through it. So it's a pretty handy device. It's rated up to 130 amps. But clearly down in the low end solar end we're only maybe talking a few amps. Somebody was asking how accurate was it below let's say an amp. So I thought I'd do some testing on that. So what I have here is a just a regular 12 volt hobby kind of power source. 12 volt power source. <clears throat> I have three different resistors. One's a 50 ohm in front here. 10 watt about half that 22 ohm 5 watt and then a 2 watt or 2 ohm resistor that will connect up to this battery and then we'll run, run the current through the Turnigy we're also going to run it through three different multimeters that are in series all set up to measure milliamps okay so let's get started with the first one okay I connected up the 50 ohm resistor you can see the Turnigy it's reading 1 point or point 0.17 to point 0.18 which is 170 to 180 milliamps we're dissipating 2 watts voltage is at 12 volts we go up to my <clears throat> other readings we're reading 205 200 and 220 on these compared to the 180 that's 170 to 180 on the Turnigy so clearly shows the Turnigy does have uh, maybe some uh, limitations down at this low end here where we're under an amp let's connect up the next one okay now I have the now I have the 22 ohm resistor connected Turnigy is reading 340 milliamps dissipating about 3.9 watts reading 367 36 0 38 so clearly this meter here is kind of reading on the high end Probably the most accurate one is this one here, which is about a hundred dollar meter. These other ones are half of that. And then this Turnigy, again reading 340 compared to 360, 360, 380 on those. So let's do the last resistor. Okay, got the last big resistor connected up. Turnigy is reading 1.7 amps. Up here we're reading 167. 17173. So based on this it does look like the Turnigy does okay above an amp below that. It's not as accurate. So just something to note. I don't think it's a big deal, but it's something to go with. Anyway, very nice meter. Very handy to use. Uh, I'll put a link on the, on the page to where I bought these. They're not that expensive. Okay, so while I was doing this, I thought I would at least check the volts between these different ones to see how the volt looks. So now I have the Turnigy connected up. It's at 12.55, no load. And then each of these meters are also connected up to the battery. 12.51, 12.53, 12.52. So you can see probably the voltmeter is reasonably accurate between all three of these or four of these okay have a good day